Capricorn, hi. Welcome to the 2024 readings. So the way this is gonna go, we're gonna look into each month and the spread I came up with was, well, it's, it's gonna look something like the energy you're in for the whole month, um, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, and then we'll look into the advice. Um, which the advice can be just a continuation of the other energies, and then uh, it'll kind of come off of that. Um, there's going to be an angle from above uh, where you can see it either here or, or here. I haven't decided yet, okay? So you'll see it somewhere on the screen where you can see what's going on here, and then you may have times where there's a full continuation to it, other times where it just stops for a month or two, and then um, I kind of take notice and I restart it, but I'm not going to redo the whole reading just because this bugger stopped. I just have to continuously look up and I'm like, I forget. Anyways, <clears throat> just thought I should um, put a little bit of that in there because I know some of you like to see the cards. Um, and it's a pretty expanded reading. So for, for this one, for this type... I'm gonna be editing a little more. Um, there will be an extended to the readings, which I will be looking into the energy that's dealing with you. Um, and a lot of the times I know we may have the tendency to watch the, the main video and then focus on one energy in particular in there. And then when we watch the other energy that's at the other end of this, we have the tendency to think it's the same energy. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you are dealing with a specific energy that I will be reading for you in the original. And then in the extended, it might be that it's somebody else altogether that's dealing with you. So um, let's say in the reading, it's going to show up as an energy that involves your work right? It's not even a person, it's the energies around your work. And then uh, in the extended, your mom or your dad or your pet might show up as the energy that ties them up to you and their perspective on things. Sometimes they match in the sense of, yes, it is the same energy in the extended, sometimes they don't. So keep that in mind. Don't get stuck with, wait a minute. In the reading, you said this and this and this, and then in the extended, they're behaving like this. That doesn't make sense. No, because it's a different energy. So keep that in mind. Um, also, try your best to not um, make this into a little bit of a soap opera kind of a situation. You know, from month to month, for the most part, the overall energy, the bigger energy at play is kind of going to be the same. But sometimes it's going to change in the sense of from January to February to March. You could be dealing with three very different energies that may look like it's the same one. It's not. So don't try to go from episode one, January, episode two, February, because sometimes they won't make sense in that way. They don't tie up together in that way. And again, in January, you might be dealing with an energy of work. In February, the energy I'm reading could be that of a spouse, a sister, uh, whatever the case, you know? And they may look very similar where you think it's a continuation, but it may not be. So try to keep it open as much as you can. Also keep in mind that energy is fluid. It can change. It can change from today to tomorrow, let alone from today to a year from now. So, just throwing that out there. Um, <clears throat> so keep, keep, keep open <laughs> when you watch these. Uh, all right, so we covered pretty much everything. I feel like, oh, roles can be reversed. That's a general rule for the readings. To close off the reading, um, you will get a oracle card from the mystical shaman oracle. Is it mystical shaman? Yes, it is mystical shaman. <laughs> Wait a minute, something about a shaman. And I know this is one of my favorite oracle decks. So yeah, it's that one. Um, mystical shaman oracle, one oracle card that is kind of like the energy for the whole year. So it's not like, oh, I have to get to December to get into those energies. No, it's energies that maybe keep in mind for the whole year. 
you know, try to remind yourself sometimes of the energies of this Oracle card. I believe that's about it. I think we're good to go. So let's go. Let's go to January and we'll be looking at where you're at, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it and advice. So where you're at, it seems to be the hermit. You're trying to keep it down, keep it steady, keep it inward, you know, not really engage with whatever's going on, especially because what's going on looks a little tricky. Um, what you're dealing with, interesting. Interesting, because it, it's coming through as a pretty calm energy, so it's not all riled up, the energy you're dealing with. However, how you're dealing with it is a little bit riled up. So there's something about this situation that's kind of triggering you in some way. It's kind of making you, ooh, even though the energy seems pretty calm, but it seems calm. I don't know if it is truly. We'll see. Uh, the advice, the Nine of Swords. You're stressing about it a lot. I wonder if this is one of those situations where something is happening, but in the way that you interpret it, you may make it look a little worse than it is in your head. You know, uh, I don't know. Let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see the hermit. The seven of swords, the star, the ten of wands. No, there's a sense of stubbornness here. There is the energy of taking it easy and chilling. That's available for you, but you seem to not be interested in that. You're like, no, I got to do what I got to do. You know, I got to do my thing. I got to go pursue what I really want and things like that. So there's almost like a, like a need to be in charge, a need to be in control, which kind of takes away from, well, okay, but the situation may need calm, <laughs> you know, and you're like, nah, 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 nah. All right, you're making it hard for yourself here. You're complicating something without even knowing that you are. Let me do the hangman for what you're dealing with. The magician, the fool, the ace of cups. Interestingly enough, what you are dealing with is your own manifestation. And it looks nice. It looks beautiful. It looks full of love. So it could have to do with somebody else that's here for you. And for some reason, you're kind of meh with it. A little bit, not a lot, not a lot. You're not going nuts on it, but there's a little bit of, yeah, okay, you know, kind of an energy, almost instigative. Um, let's do the five of wands, the eight of swords, the five of pentacles, the six of pentacles. Yeah, there's the need for things to be falling under the energy of equal give and take. And it's not the need, it's the fear that things are not there that's kind of creating a little bit of a mess so you're looking at the situation at whoever you're dealing with and you're like you know i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling that this is equal give and take in all honesty i kind of can't see that it is uh but you're like i'm not feeling it and you're not feeling it because you're filtrating your viewpoint through your own fear of losing this of fighting of oh it's gonna turn ugly why there's a fear there that tells you you know i'm not saying that things are perfect but things are ne definitely not the way you're you're making them out to be and when i see fear in the way i'm like oh that's what's going on somebody's kind of blowing something out of proportion here because they're functioning under fear and I don't know where this fear showed up, but it showed up over this manifestation of yours that's here, it's happening, and something inside of you is telling you, ah, it's probably not gonna last, and that's your fear. And because your fear is here, it's making you act in all sorts of ways and kind of exaggerating all sorts of things that may not be what you think they are, you know? I don't know, the energy of equal give and take I see here, you're not. You're like, nope, it's not here, fuck it, it's not here. Okay. For the Nine of Swords, for the advice, you get the Six of Wands, the Three of Cups, the Hermit. <laughs> Ultimately, you're getting exactly to this energy that's available for you. And initially, you're like, no, nah, I'm not going to take that. No, nah, I'm going to do it my way. So it almost looks like this whole month you're going through the, through a process of 
possibly over exaggerating over a situation and then coming back into that place of oh, okay now i get it <laughs> you know uh it took you like a little while to get back into the energy that was there all along for you to step in you know the energy of okay let's chill let's let's just let things happen let's not try to control them let's not try to interpret them a little more than they need to be you know and things like that so the minute you fall back it, it almost feels like you need to reach that peak of stressing out about the situation before you actually kind of understand that mm, there's no point to it okay so you nice because you're getting right back to the energy that's there all along for you. Okay. All right, February. Let's see what's going on for February. Let's see where you're at for February. You are at the Seven of Wands. Let's see what you're dealing with. You're dealing with the Five of Pentacles. Let me see how you're dealing with this. Six of Wands. And then let me see the advice. The Eight of Wands. Uh, if I wouldn't know any better, I would look at this and I would say, okay, so you got pissed off. You're like, you know what? I'm done with this crap. Goodbye. And I feel so good about it. I'm so happy. Goodbye. And you're making it pretty obvious here by the looks of it and i mean with the advice it does feel like you're coming back around like okay let's talk like normal people kind of a deal but um initially yeah you look so like what i'm done here goodbye you know um i mean i don't know if this could be whoever you're dealing with it doesn't have to be you but it's definitely coming through as an energy of almost like you know what i got pissed off for a split second so i'm just gonna pull a tantrum and i'm done goodbye but then i'm coming back to it as an adult kind of a thing so let's clarify let's see what's up let me do the seven of wands the <laughs> The Judgment card, the Ten of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, even though you may be like, you know, the ultimate decision here and the ultimate desire on your part is for things to work out here with the Ten of Cups and especially the Four of Pentacles. That's a sense of stubbornness. Like, I'm going to make this work out. I don't care what it takes. And then you're coming in with the sense of, um, I don't know. I'm kind of upset. And you have all the right to be upset. But when you pull a tantrum because of that, you know, like acting like a two-year-old, it's a different story and you know you you know that kind of an energy because you've done it i've done it everybody's doing it from time to time you know when we're like yeah I mean. when ultimately deeply the decision has been made that no you want to make things work um so this kind of reinforces for me the fact that something upset you there something is upsetting you um yeah for the Five of Pentacles, you get the Three of Swords, the Justice card, the Ace of Wands. Yeah. You're acting a lot from pain. There's this energy of, uh, of like fear of losing this. And it's creating a lot of pain. And you're acting through that pain in regards to this. So all of this, I'm done. I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. It's not coming from that deeper balanced place within yourself because that's taken over by fear so it's coming from a place of i'm in pain god damn it and i need to project that somehow so i'll take it out on this connection so fuck it you know um let's do the six of wands the seven of swords the sun the queen of cups You're not going to give up until you pull this through, huh? Until you're like, no, my upsetness is going to go like this. First, I'm going to pull the tantrum and then I'm going to go because I have to say that I mean it somehow. So I'm just going to go. And then, you know, basically walking away from your own happiness. But saying I'm moving towards my happiness because I left this. I don't know. I still see your happiness being back here, but maybe you know best. Who knows? But this to me feels like a tantrum. It doesn't feel like a real, I'm breaking up with you because you don't make me happy. Goodbye. 
you know? It feels like you pissed me off so bad that I'm just gonna do this right now, even though I don't mean it. That's kind of how it feels, but maybe I'm wrong. For the advice, for the Eight of Wands, you get the Five of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. I mean, this is the energy of almost like regret. Like, okay, you know, maybe I shouldn't have left the situation. Now I kind of regret it because I think I kind of want for things to work out, but I don't know how to do that. So basically coming into a place of accepting where things are at, but not from a sense of fear, not from a sense of projection, from a sense of step right into yourself there and see what the hell is going on from that perspective of deep within yourself. You know, don't let the mind kind of run the show here because it'll run it. It'll run it like crazy. You're just going to keep up with it. If you step into yourself al align with your heart and yourself fully, this has the possibility to look a little better than what it does now. If you keep on letting the mind run the show, that's how it's going to end for you for this month. It's looking like, you know, okay, so you'll be up in your head all the time, stressed out, not knowing if you did the right thing, the wrong thing, the what thing, you know, you're not going to know shit. You might want to talk to somebody here. Since it's shown up in the advice, the eight of wands, you might want to talk to a good friend or someone about this, you know, maybe there's that desire. Okay, let's talk about it. Even to whoever this is, but if not, at least to somebody, you trust somebody you care about, so... Let's do March. Let's see what is happening in March. For Cappy. <clears throat> in March, Blue is waking up. Uh, let's see where you're at what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with that, and advice, okay? Well, you seem to be back to the January energy. The Three of Pentacles is where you're at, so again, dealing with the partnership here. Uh, what you're dealing with, the King of Pentacles. This is a, I mean, it's an energy of stability, so I feel like your focus is a lot on yourself at this time, um, on your sense of stability, your sense of the material, like what surrounds you, and you're building up on that. How you're dealing with things, Page of Cups, there's a lot of love involved, there's a lot of open heart to the situation, and advice, Ten of Cups. I mean, things seem to be looking good for now. Let me clarify. Things seem to be heading in a good direction here, as long as you keep open. As long as you keep your heart open to this. Let me see the Three of Pentacles. You get the Hierophant, the Eight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, there's an I don't know kind of a situation attached to this bond you have with someone. There is a sense that this connection is very deep, but there's also a sense of disconnection tied up to it. F to the point of, I don't even know. I don't know exactly how I feel about it. Okay. Let me do the King of Pentacles. The Page of Wands, the Tower, the Magician. You're manifesting something here. In regards to your own sense of stability, whatever you're building on, you're manifesting something. And it feels like... Think of it as your manifestation is right here in front of you. All you have to do is reach, you know, to get it. And you're doing like... I can't get to it. It's like, fucking reach. Reach out. It's right there. Okay. Mm, like, mm, like, come on! <laughs> you know, kind of a deal. I don't know what you're doing. But it almost feels like a missed opportunity here with that tower being there. Like, okay, all you have to do is... That's it. it, it it's, it's like, you know, like... You're like... Beep. Na, 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 na. So, I don't know. It could feel like a missed opportunity for you during this time. Um, when it comes to something tied up to your work. Uh, I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's going to feel that way too, but I don't feel like it is a missed opportunity. And it'll reveal it safe later for what it truly is. Um, I don't know. There is, there's a reason why you're not actually reaching, you know, all the way. Let's do the Page of 
Cups and how you're dealing with the energies at play. The Knight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Wands. It's almost like you're limited. I kind of get the sense that in regards to this connection, that's still kind of at the core of things here for you in terms of, I feel like that's the energy that's predominant for this month. Um, there's love, there's an open heart, but it does have like a, like a limit to it. Like I'm only going to open my heart like 70% to this for some reason. And then God forbid you pass to 71 because you're like, you're, you're going to, no, no. I see you going there, going to 71 and being like, what the, whoa, 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 what just happened here? No, we're not doing that. I said 70, you know, you and you basically doing that. I don't know why. Okay. Let's do the 10 of cups. The ace of pentacles, the fool, the justice card. This situation right here has available energy to restore, to get back into a beautiful place and even more if you're willing to open with it without limits, without restrictions. I don't know where those restrictions are coming from. If something happened that upset you in this within this dynamic, I can kind of see like, yeah, you know what? I'm not in the mood to open up to this right now. I'll do it when I'm uh, available a little later on, not right now. Well, the energies that are available for this are those of full on openness, you know, not restricted openness. But uh, it seems that you're like, eh, later, I'm busy. Okay. All right, let's move on to April. what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with that advice. The Empress is where you're at. Okay, so you're stepping into your power here. Really nice energy. What you're dealing with, the Ace of Wands, some sort of action, something around an action that you want to take maybe. How you're dealing with the, the Two of Swords, quite stressed out about it. And for the advice, the Knight of Wands is kind of like, fuck it, let's go, let's do this. You know, let's go. Okay. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the Empress. The Star, the Seven of Swords, the Three of Cups. Okay. So there's something you really, really want to do. Something that's shown up as being quite meaningful to you that you want to head in the direction of. It does look like it has to do with the energy of coming together with someone we're coming back together, I'm not sure. Uh, but you keep on walking away from that. So it's it's shown up in your desire as the biggest desire in the world, at least for this period of time. And then you show up as getting very close to it and being like, yeah, of course I'll do it. And then it's like, nope, let's bail. So, which kind of explains the two of swords there. Uh, let's do the ace of wands for what you're dealing with here. The Page of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups. But you really want to do it. You're pretty determined. You're like, you know, even if I approach it with like 5%, I'll still do it. Um, so there's really determination there. There's really like you made up your mind. You want to do something. You want to open up. You want to, I don't know. There's, it's something in regards to some sort of an action. So I don't know what you want to do. Maybe buy them a present. Who the hell knows? You know, something. Um, and you're looking like, but the thing is, the energy is showing up like this, and you, in the way you're doing it, you're showing up like this. So it's like a little tiny bit of something. And then it opens up gradually. As you start doing it, you grow. Um, it's just a matter of until you get there into the action. Um, so for the Two of Swords here... The Emperor, the Seven of Pentacles, the Empress. I mean, it's definitely a perfect match here, whoever this is to you. They're looking like, you know, at least in your perception, it's like, yeah, it's my perfect match. And things have to work out. The thing is, you have so much overthinking in the way that's just stopping you from just allowing the energy to flow towards whatever is happening here, you know? 
So there could be a lot of overthinking on your part that's going to prevent you from moving along here, moving forward in the situation. Let's do the Knight of Wands. As an advice, the Knight of Pent for the Knight of Wands, you get the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Wands. In case you're not sure 100%, you've got the confidence to do this. It's shown up here. And when I say just do it, because that's the energy that's coming through, it's just fuck it. Just go ahead and do it. Whatever you want to do, if it feels right for you, you know, um, that doesn't mean, oh, okay, I'll get up now and do it and rush into things. It's actually quite the slow pace to it. It's actually quite, let's ground into this energy and let's see where it's taking us. You know, the, the sense of confidence is definitely there. The, um... The patting on the back is definitely there. I kind of can hear you. Okay, I got this. I can do this, you know. Um, it's just a matter of actually doing it. You know, all the stressing, the in-between is just something that's in the way. Especially because this feels so right to you, you know. There's no reason to bail from it or to overthink things if it feels good, if it feels right. So, all right, let's move on to May. into where you're at, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, and advice. Six of Wands is where you're starting off the month the month here and kind of the overall energy for the Six of Wands. You feel really good. You feel like you accomplished something. It's, it's one of those, um, I feel like things are getting back on track. Things are getting into a better place here. Uh, what you're dealing with, the Nine of Swords, eh, there's still a stressful situation at play here for you. Uh, how you're dealing with it, the Five of Pentacles, what makes it stressful is that you still have some sort of fear attached to it all. And for the advice here, the Queen of Wands, it, it looks like you're still kind of pulling through. Even though the fear is here, the little bit of stress is around, you're still looking like, you know, keep our head up and we'll, we'll be okay. Kind of a deal. Okay. Let's clarify. Six of Wands. You get the Hermit, the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, as long as you keep, you know, as much as you can balanced and just, just kind of inward and not allow for that fear to take over. Because it is here, it is present. It is causing a little bit of stress. But as long as you keep balanced within yourself, you should be fine. You know, through it all. Whatever happens. Keep it steady one day at a time. Should be good. Let's do the Nine of Swords. <laughs> I like how this one jumped. Okay. Page of Swords, Five of Wands, the Death card. Yeah, try your best to not make any kinds of decisions and any kind of movement or action from the space of if you find yourself a little stressed out a little like mm, i'm too much in my head or like there's something going on here but i don't know what it is try your best to not make any kind of movement from that space you know decisions especially um because i see you making the, the slightest little movement and then it's kind of like it's it's just gonna blow up in your face by the looks of it so try your best to 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 stay put to, to be like, okay, you know, okay, let me stay with what's going on in here and let's just kind of let it pass instead of let's act because now I'm all riled up and I don't know why. Let's do the five of pentacles, the devil, the lovers, the hangman. There's this fear attached to this connection. You're showing me a connection that's important to you and it has fear like crazy attached to it. And it's kind of normal for this fear to be there. Uh, it's a matter of how you deal with it. You know, you're never going to say to this fear, go away and never come back and it'll listen. But you can kind of deal with it as it comes through. And it is going to come through and it is showing up for this month for you. And I like your approach to it because you're giving me the hangman. You're just kind of looking at it in its face and you're like, okay, welcome fear. What's up? You know? So, cool. 
let's do the Queen of Wands for the advice. The Hierophant, the Magician, the King of Swords. As long as you keep focused on what's important and what your goals are here, you'll be fine throughout this month. Yeah, you'll have a little bit of challenge here and there when that fear shows up, when all sorts of thoughts and what ifs are going to pop up in your head. But overall, as long as you keep it steady, balanced, should be good. All right, let's do June. June, June, June. It's summer already. In June. Do, 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 do. All right, where's your energy at for June? What you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, and advice. So your energy is in the Ten of Pentacles. That's a lot of stability. Uh, it feels like you're driven towards just kind of sustaining a sense of stability, a sense of, you know, let's keep it cool, let's keep it steady. Uh, Home-oriented, possibly, so you can find yourself a lot, doing a lot of stuff around home. Um, what you're dealing with uh, the king of wands it could be somebody else it's not a bad thing they, they look pretty good their energy looks pretty good uh how you're dealing with it the eight of wands definitely communicating possibly a lot a lot of honest open communication here and the advice of two of cups this looks like a pretty good month um so let's clarify here let's see what's up Let me see the Ten of Pentacles for where you're at. The Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Moon. Something stressing you out, like it's it's not a big deal kind of an energy. It's something, let's say uh, you are home focused or oriented and you find stuff that's not working out throughout the house. And it's like, uh, okay, I got to replace the vacuum or something. You know, like small stuff. I don't see it as big stress, but it, it is revolving around your own sense of stability and whatever you're dealing with at the time. So I kind of see you taking it, you know, again, it's not coming through as, oh my God, let's panic and let's not do anything anymore. Because um, <clears throat> you do have the Four of Swords over it, so you're telling me that, okay, you know, stuff happens. Vacuums break or something. Um, it is creating a little bit of stress, but it's not... Not enough to worry about it, basically. Let me do the King of Wands. For what you're dealing with. The Seven of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Six of Cups. Whoever this is might have the tendency to not participate much at this time. With If you've known them in a certain way, very active towards you or things like that. They may be pulling away from that uh, a little bit. Where I don't see that um as a big deal unless you make it one it's one of those they get a little comfortable in all honesty it looks like they, they're getting a little comfortable but things are still kind of playing off there's still energy that's playing off here so it's not it, they they look a little more laid back let's just put it that way where as if you were used to them what getting you or doing the dishes every after dinner they may not <laughs> you know and you're like oh, god damn they're better do the dishes um anyways let's do the eight of wands how you're dealing with it the hangman the five of swords the three of wands ah interesting so there is a sense of communication here but it's not necessarily free open communication the, there seems to be something you want to bring up Something you may have wanted to bring up for quite a while. Or maybe it's them. I don't know. Somebody wants to bring something up, but they're not doing it. They're waiting. Whoever this is. It's one of those, you know... Uh, it's similar to we need to talk. Kind of a deal. But not that... Bad. Yeah, something needs to be said here. I don't know. I don't know what it is, because I see a delay in it. I see a... Uh, we'll talk about it some other time. I don't know. Um, two of Cups for the advice. You get the Empress, the Three of Swords, the Lovers. 
All right. Yeah, everything's good here for the most part. Um, there is something bothersome in there as an energy. I can't quite pick it up in terms of uh, who did what or what happened here. I do see it more on your side in terms of something may have pissed you off. I don't know. Maybe it does piss you off that they're not doing the dishes. Who the hell knows? And it could be that that's what you want to bring up. Like, you know, I'm not going to tell them now, but I'm going to tell them at some point. You got to, you got to pick up the slack or something and it could be if i kind of go and look like around this energy it could relate to their participation at this time you know to their um kind of taking that step back and not really showing up like they usually do uh maybe that's what it is maybe that's what's bugging you who knows overall it's good but there is a little energy of mm, mm, you know so all right, let's move on to July. is that for July what you're dealing with how you're dealing with it advice all right so where you're at energetically is the Emperor um, it almost feels like you're stepping into a place of taking charge taking control of a situation or trying to take control of a situation um, there is a commitment you're showing me here that is at the core of this what you're dealing with is the moon it almost feels like you you don't even know what you're dealing with um this comes through as an energy of you know what i kind of want to take care of things i kind of want to um take charge but i don't know exactly where to start i don't know exactly what i'm taking charge of you know um it's one of those you're taking things into your own you're taking matters into your own hands the thing is you don't know what the matter is you know it's kind of looking a little bit like that how you're dealing with it four of wands yeah again the sense of connection is here the sense of commitment possibly um so it's something revolving this commitment the problem is you don't know exactly what it is um in the advice the magician so you're manifesting something here or you're trying to manifest something you're trying to create something um let's clarify let me clarify the emperor <clears throat> The Fool, the King of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune. So you want to bring things into a very nice place. It almost feels like, you know, it doesn't even matter who you're dealing with. It's like, you know, I made up my mind. This is going to happen like this. And we're going to bring things into this beautiful, magical place. Okay? Okay. That's what's going to happen here. That's kind of like how you're showing up here. Um, you're assigning yourself to do that out of the two let's do the moon for what you're dealing with here the nine of swords the moon the five of swords there's been if i look back at the past there's been some things that were not addressed you know there were some elephants in the room and the elephants are still there and that that's why it's shown up here as okay where do i start you know, it, it almost looks like you're you're saying, which elephant should I start with? Because there's been quite a few, like even for the past month there, there was something that was bugging, there was something that needed to be said, but it wasn't, you know, things like that. So it almost feels like it's a pile up of small energies here and there that kind of made it a little bit of a, a little bit of a bigger one. Um, so it's like small ele elephants climbing on top of each other, making a bigger elephant here. And it's, that's kind of what you're taking on. You know, okay, let's, let's kind of unwrap all of it and let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, there's some things that haven't been said. There's some things that haven't been expressed here along the way. And they, they cause some blockages. Some, you know, there's like the flow of this is kind of feeling a little rocky at times because of it. And this is where you come in and you say, I want to fix that. 
So let's do the Four of Wands for how you're dealing with it. The Four of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles. That's exactly how you're dealing with it. I want to fix it. I want to work on it. So let's, you know, uh, very determined to, to hang on to this rather than let it go. You know, yeah, you see this pile of little elephants, uh, but you're not intimidated by the looks of it. You're like, okay, so let's, let's take each elephant and let's kind of see what, what it did and how, how we got here, you know, slowly but surely one day at a time. Um, but really determined to work on things here. Let's do the magician. The devil, the six of pentacles, the sun. All right. So yeah, you're basically you're manifesting, which means you're focusing because you've got this target. You've got this goal of achieving something here. As long as you keep that clear and keep on pursuing that. It looks like, yeah, it's it's kind of coming through. It's probably potentially going to happen here. That things will get at least revealed, you know, at least they'll come up to the surface and you'll try to work on them. Uh, you and whoever this is to you. There's, there seems to be a need for things to fall back into balance, to, to fall back into a place of equal give and take. Because, you know, that's what makes you happy here. So, all right. All right, let's do August. Uh, cut. All right, we're doing August now. My favorite month of the year. Let's see. Let me see where you're at in August, energetically speaking, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, and advice. Uh, where you're at, it's the Seven of Wands. A little bit of resistant, a little bit defensive there. Um, <laughs> what you're dealing with is the fact that maybe you have to do something about something by the looks of it with the Ace of Swords. <laughs> how you're dealing with it, you're not. <laughs> You're trying not to. You're trying not to. You're like, you know what? I need to rest. I don't need to do anything. I'm I'm good. Okay. And for the advice, the five of pentacles. Yeah, there is a sense of, you know, dropping your weapons when this kind of an energy of what you're dealing with is kind of kind of requiring for you to to pick up those weapons. You're like, no. Nah. nah. There's a it it comes in this whole month comes in with a sense of I don't know if I give up. I wouldn't call it I give up, but I would call it uh, I'm just not going to do shit. You know? Uh, kind of looks a little bit like that. So, okay, let's see the Seven of Wands. Oops. The Sun, the Three of Swords, the Two of Swords. Whatever it is that you're dealing with that you may have to respond to but don't want to, um does revolve around your own sense of happiness uh, but it's also very hard to deal with there's some pain in there there's some things that are kind of like yeah no i don't i don't want to um and ultimately it just leaves you confused out of your mind to the point of yeah i'm, I'm just not gonna deal with anything you know uh almost like Fuck this, I'm taking a vacation and I don't give a shit about anything, you know? I don't know. Uh, for the Ace of Swords, for what you're dealing with, you get the Ten of Wands, the Tower, the Two of Pentacles. This is turning into quite the confusing energy overall. Uh, quite the complicated energy. Um, you're really trying your best to go against the energy that's available. And the energy that's available is that of, okay, you need to pick up and move here. You know, you need to do something about something. And you're fighting with every inch of yourself to not, by the looks of it. And then at the end of the day, you don't necessarily feel good about it either, but you're still doing it by the looks of it, even, you know, at the cost of you losing everything. Which, yikes. Okay, let's do the Four of Swords. 
King of Cups, Six of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. I mean, you are giving me a sense of whatever it is that's calling you into action has to do with an energy outside of yourself. And you are giving me a sense of instead of doing that, I'm just going to do me, which is a good energy. Don't get me wrong. It comes through as, you know, it, it feels good. But with that Six of Swords over there in the middle, I don't know if you're doing that either. That's the thing. Maybe you're inclined to do it. Maybe you think you're doing it. But I don't know if you're doing it to the extent of, you know, I'll respond to this a little later because right now I need to do me. Um, I don't know. I feel like that's the intention. I don't know if that's what you're doing necessarily in there. Let me do the five of pentacles for the advice, the lovers, the knight of swords, the eight of wands. Remember what you said a month ago? Okay. Time to pick up the slack, time to get things going, time to get things doing. And I'm going to do something about the situation that I'm dealing with. <laughs> and then, you know, right now you're showing up with, eh, it's a little too hard. It's a little too complicated. I'm not going to lie. You know, it's a lot to deal with. So probably not going to do it. And then the advice comes through as you've got two options here. You know, um, either you're going to keep with what you plan to do because again the call to action is definitely here or you're gonna get overwhelmed by your own fear which by the way has shown up if up until this point it was in their court now it's shown up in your court um your own fear and your own sense of it's a little too difficult it's a little too hard um at this point i would advise you to try remembering what it is that you're dealing with, what it is that you want out of the situation, you know? Because, yeah, it can get hard at times. But if you really, really want to get something done, I'm sure you'll get it done no matter how hard it is, you know? Um, because the energy is still here of wanting to get things done in such a way that it's, you know, the energy comes through as being beautiful. But if this fear is bouncing off from one to another, I can understand why we're here, you know? So... Yeah, good reminder, this one, for you, would be a good reminder to, to kind of remember what you're fighting for, if you want to fight for it, because maybe you don't at this point, who the hell knows. I'm just going to tell you that I see the energy of fear here, and whenever I see that, your thoughts about what you want may be a little bit distorted, so keep that in mind as well. So yeah, let's go to September. I said some t September and Felix was like, yeah, it's my birthday. I know. I know it is. In your big paws. All right, let's see. Let's take a look at where you're at energetically, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, and advice. So where you're at, the tower, disaster. <laughs> uh, it's not disaster necessarily. It could be an aha moment. You know, the tower doesn't necessarily have to be a bad energy, like disaster time. Uh, it could be disaster in a good way, in the sense of, what the... What? You know, um, kind of a big aha moment. And I kind of see it like that, given that all the other energies are showing up in this way here. Um, <clears throat> what you're dealing with, the Six of Pentacles, an energy of equal give and take, an energy of balance here. Uh, how you're dealing with it, the lovers. So there's a pretty strong connection here between you and whoever or whatever is going on in your life here. Uh, and for the advice, the Queen of Wands, I see you showing up for it. You know, I see you being pretty confident, pretty, I got this. Okay, good. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the tower. The Page of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, the Empress. Yeah, this is... Um, usually aha moments are those, to me at least, in the way that I perceive them, are those that come to you out of nowhere, you know, overnight. Oh, you just wake up one day and you're like, oh, 
about something, you know? Uh, you're looking like you're heading towards one, but like slowly, like you've been working towards this aha moment for a while. Uh, and it does have to do with you and it does have to do with the sense of aligning with yourself fully and stepping into your power. So the minute you get there, it's it's been quite a bit of a slow journey apparently towards it, you know, one of those one day at a time, we'll take it easy. Um, but it does seem like you're falling right into that place of being, you know, waking up that one day and being like, oh man, this feels so good. Uh, so definitely stepping into your power here um, and getting it and feeling it, you know. But again, it looks like it's a, you're getting there pretty slow, but you get there. It doesn't matter how you get there, as long as you get there. Let me do the six of pentacles. <clears throat> for what you're dealing with, the Six of Wands, the Knight of Swords, the Page of Wands. There's some participation here. So <clears throat> you're dealing with, you're putting in your own energy into a particular situation. Whoever you're dealing with is putting energy in that situation. And you feel that participation on both sides, you know, so that sense of equal give and take, that sense of balance is definitely being achieved here uh, and recognized. <clears throat> With the Six of Wands, you're showing me, man, this feels good. You know, like, we're both showing up for this. Um, really nice. There's one more aggressive energy than the other. You know, almost scary. Uh, I don't know. Let me... Like... You see this one? <laughs> Going towards this one. This one's like, whoa, what's coming? And this one's like, ah, let's charge. Uh, I would take you as the more aggressive one, especially because you're stepping into your power. So it's it's not aggressive. It's more confident, more, yeah, let's do this, you know? Well, the other one is like, yeah, but I've been here for a while, you know? I'm not in the same place anymore, but I, I, I'm here, you know? So it's really funny sometimes when the energies show up like that. Let me do the lovers and how you're dealing with it the seven of wands the ace of pentacles the six of pentacles okay so there is a you're basically stepping into a brand new beginning here that feels very balanced very nice um there is a little bit of a little bit of pushing against that for some reason uh i see it as a small energy there of possible rejection towards this but it's it's insignificant in the way I see it now. I don't know what it is and where it's coming from, um, but if it's not acknowledged fully that it's there, um, it might sneak sneak up on you at some point, and it might grow. Um, so I have no idea where that's coming from. I don't even know, in all honesty, I don't get it as being yours, but it could be. Um, let's do the Queen of Wands for the advice. The King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Hermit. Great energies. So this this definitely feels like you're stepping f from the time where you're stepping to your power, it's starting to show up physically speaking. So you're starting to feel it, you're starting to see it in yourself and you gain the sense of confidence and you start to perceive things from that uh, energy. And it does look like the energies you're dealing with are working with you too, like, at the same frequency, there's there's definitely the same energies responding to you there, the same kinds of energies. So whoever this is to you seems like a perfect match by the end of this, you know? And it feels like it's very good, very steady, very like everything's back into place, kind of, you know? And you're very sure of it, very confident. It looks good. All right, let's do October. for October, the Knight of Pentacles. You're taking it easy, one day at a time, you know, taking it slow, moving forward still for yourself, for this connection, through this connection. Uh, what you're dealing with, justice. There's still a sense of balance. There's still a sense of keeping things steady, keeping things good. How you're dealing with it, the Six of Cups. There's this notion of soul connection here that's shown up. And for the advice, the Nine of Swords. Something's stressing you out. Um, I don't feel like it's in regards to 
the connection necessarily. It could be, I feel like it's something else. I feel like it's something more personal, something more in regards to what you're doing um, for yourself there, you know? Let's see, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Knight of Pentacles. The Page of Swords, the Hermit, the Ten of Wands. Yeah. Slowly but surely, one day at a time kind of a thing. I feel like you're going within too, a lot. There's a lot of internal kind of movement here as well for you. Which feels like you're quite in opposition of it. it. It almost feels like you're being called to go within for a little bit, you know, to rest, to take it easy. And you're like, no. Well, okay. Let me do the justice card for what you're dealing with here. The high priestess, the five of pentacles, the three of pentacles. Mm, 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 mm. there's a partnership that shows up here um it could be a friendship could be someone you work with i'm not sure i don't see it as romantic but it could be but i'm not seeing it as that um it feels like you kind of know that there's almost like an ending to the situation or it's fading away slowly but surely um you intuitively kind of have this like you know like picking up on how the situation is distancing from you um whether it's a friend or i don't know but it's one of those okay it's it's happening and i know it's happening um let's do the six of cups because maybe this is what it is how you're dealing with it the knight of cups the eight of wands the nine of cups all right so whatever this is to you, whether it's a very good friend, whether it's whoever it is to you, um, you're trying to treat it very gently, coming from a very loving space and trying to, to kind of deal with the situation as it's probably fading away um, from your heart, you know, more than anything. As you approach it with your energy, whatever you're doing in regards to it, whether you say something or not, or just energetically speaking, kind of approaching the situation, uh, there's definitely a whole lot of love in there, you know? Um, let's do the Nine of Swords for the advice here. Seven of Wands, Nine of Swords, Seven of Cups. You kind of, I mean, is as positive as you're trying to stay and as loving as you're trying to to be in regards to the situation it's a little there seems to be a little something in you that says it's kind of bugging me though you know so there's definitely not full acceptance over the fact that whatever this is may have run run its course you know because i feel like that's what's happening here um where it's looking like you may have to let go of something here that's been with you for quite a while um so you're let's say you're 80 percent in the phase of acceptance over it in terms of it is what it is it's happening i'm gonna do my best to to treat it in the best way possible as it possibly fades away from my life um but i can't say it's it's an easy ride for me you know to experience this um so it's gonna be a little stressful but that's it all right let's do november we're almost there guys almost there almost almost a year from now let's see Let's see where you're at energetically for this month, what you're dealing with, how you're dealing with it, and advice. So where you're at is the King of Cups. Your heart is fully open. You're taking this month fully like, yeah, let's go November. Uh, what you're dealing with is a lot of happiness. Well, not surprised your heart is um, fully open. How you're dealing with it, it's the star. I mean, it's, it's almost looking like all of your wishes are coming true. It's not December yet, so chill. Yeah, it's not Christmas time. Take it easy. 
and for the advice the um ace of wands you're definitely taking it in you're definitely like yeah I'm, I'm gonna go for it i don't care it can be any kind of month i don't give a shit it's mine i'm owning it good um let's clarify let me do the king of cups here The judgment card, the hermit, the strength card. Man, you feel so aligned. It's like I'm freaking jealous. What'd you do here? What'd you eat? What's going on here? You're like, how? Takes a lot to get to this place. Takes a lot to sustain it. That's where the real work is, you know? Um, but definitely open heart, very aligned with everything that you could possibly know about yourself with your higher self. Um, really nice energy. Way to go. Let's do the sun for what you're dealing with here. Uh, gotcha. Uh, for the sun, you get the justice card, the queen of cups, the five of wands. So you're definitely dealing with that perfect resonance, you know, as an energy heart to heart kind of perfect match whoever this is to you there are some fights sometimes okay there are some disagreements ha you're not perfect and you will never be and neither of us will be we're humans uh so i kind of like the actually i kind of like the the little bit of yeah we kind of bicker at times or whatever that's what makes you perfect actually the imperfect um but the energies are freaking aligned like no tomorrow you know so i don't care about all of this that's going to take care of itself maybe they finally did the dishes but they did them wrong who the hell knows um wrong for the star you get the knight of pentacles the six of cups the four of cups so how you're how you're dealing with this. Um, it's looking like, I mean, everything for whatever connection this is that you got going on that seems to be the closest to your heart at this point. Um, it seems that, you know, things are kind of where they need to be, kind of, because you're still giving me a sense of, yeah, we're still heading in that direction. We haven't reached the final destination for this, but we will, we will. And what doesn't allow for this to be the final destination, because in my eyes it is, in the way that I'm seeing the energies align, it is, you, you, you got there. But what doesn't allow you to perceive this as getting there is the fact that you're still a little, at times you're still a little, eh, could be better. Something wrong with the dishes? I don't know. If you want there to be then there will be and again the the they did the dishes wrong why i put it in quotes in quotes because it's like there is no wrong or right <laughs> in doing the dishes it's just doing them it's our perception that makes it wrong or right right so if that's just your attempt to hang on to a little bit of sense of control then that's what's going to keep you a little unhappy and not seeing that you're actually there where you were trying to be from the get-go in regards to the situation, you know? Um, <clears throat> as to the Ace of Wands, there's always going to be more work to it. There's always going to be, let's move higher than where we're at, you know? Um, that's a given, but let's not take away from where you're actually at, because the energies feel pretty amazing. Um, for the Ace of Wands, for the advice, you get the Page of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Well, why didn't you say so? The fear is still here. That's why you're showing up a little. Eh. Uh, I don't know who's fear at this point. I don't know if it's yours or theirs or the both of you. Uh, but yeah. It's still there. It's still kind of trying to get it. It's definitely a whole lot better in the sense that I feel like, look, fear is always going to be here. Um, it's how you handle it, how you work with it. 
uh, when it does show up. And sometimes it's going to try to show up more than other times because, and it's going to try to show up more, especially when you're disconnected from yourself or when you're getting close to disconnecting from your heart, from your true self. That's where the, the opportunity is for the fear. It's like, uh oh, uh oh, they're starting to think and they're starting to think even more. That's where we plant seeds and then we get in. You know, that's how fear works. Um, so it's almost feeling like it's in the background somewhere waiting for you to disconnect completely from how you feel uh, so that it can charge. So it's, as I said, it's always there. And it's okay if you acknowledge it as being there, as being like, oh, it's there. Okay, okay. Hey, fear, what's up? Long time no see, but like, take your time. You don't have to show up right away because for now I'm busy. I'm kind of keeping connected to myself, you know? So it's a matter of how you approach it here. So that's why. So just uh, try to be aware as much as you can of the energies at play, of what's going on emotionally speaking, you know, from your heart, uh, rather than allowing for the mind to step in and take in charge of the situation. So that's it. All right, let's do December, the last month. Whoa, we made it. We made it to December. Where you're at energetically, kind of the same place. Knight of Pentacles, really taking it slow, taking it easy. Uh, what you're dealing with, the Four of Swords. Man, this is a very slow month for you, but it's a good one. Slow in terms of healing, like you're doing a lot of internal work here by the looks of it. There's a lot of, I'm doing me. You know, I'm ending the year on this note of, it's about me. Okay. Uh, how you're dealing with it, the Queen of Cups, lots of love, lots of self-love by the looks of it. And the advice, the judgment card. Yeah, kind of ending this year on a very transformative note. You know, very almost grateful you know but it's coming in as gratefulness just because you're uh ending it on that high note of doing yourself and just kind of all of the energy you you've just go and hermit just go and hermit you know just i don't care about anything i don't care about anyone uh it's about me at this time and that that energy of self-love that's very big apparently very transformative energy here to it um let's clarify the knight of pentacles you get the eight of swords the death card the ace of swords yeah you're um and that's why you're coming back to self, because I feel like all of this year you've presented yourself, even though there's been times where you took some time for yourself. This is a big one. This is like the, the closing off of a chapter here for you, where it feels like you may have given a lot outside of yourself. And now it's like, OK, let's close that off slowly but surely. Let's take all of the thoughts about all of what happened and what was put them to the side because we're not doing that right now. Right now, it's a time for giving only to me. And there's, you know, I don't need thoughts for that. I just need to, to, to kind of go within. So, okay. Slowly but surely, you're almost looking like you're going through this process of removing yourself from what's outside of yourself. Um, so that you can step inward. For the Four of Swords, you get the Ace of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Devil. Yeah. Yeah, giving to yourself, not giving outside of yourself anymore for, for a change, you know? All of that love, all of that energy that you're trying to put outside of yourself, you're flipping that around towards you. Yeah, it's like a recharge kind of a time. Like, okay, it's time, it's time, it's time for me to, to plug in, to plug back in. I need to recharge my batteries here. Queen of Cups, how you're dealing with it. The Six of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Six of Cups. But then there's this 
connection that you have really close to you and it's like well i kind of want to give to that too so does that take away from giving to me only or like how do i do this you seem to be a little bit confused uh in the how there seems to be a little bit of conflict there possibly in our conflict because you might be in a period of time where you just say fuck it all you know including yeah whoever this is you know i've dealt with you all year or for the past few months like I just need some me time. Uh, but it seems like you're having a little bit of an issue with that where even though this energy is quite predominant and big of going inward and not giving a lot outside of yourself, you're still kind of fighting with it. It's like, nah, I have to give to at least this connection here because otherwise if I don't give to them, they're going to go away, uh, which is not true. You're still going to give to them. It's not like you're cutting them off. You know, you're still there. It's just, it's a me time. So try to recognize that as much as you can and try to kind of go with those energies because they're definitely at play. Um, that doesn't mean you're not giving to this situation at all or to any other situation, you know, for that matter. That's important to you. For the judgment card, for the advice, you get the Six of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the King of Pentacles. It's almost uh, seeming like you're looking at all of your wins and losses. <laughs> like looking back at or stepping into this place of recognizing what you've lost along the way, what you've gained along the, along the way, you know. And it makes you feel good. I, I see you looking at it from this perspective of the King of Pentacles. It's almost giving you a sense of empowerment, a sense of, okay, weighing in the losses, weighing in the like everything putting everything into balance and being like okay this you know this is, it's a very retrospective retrospective kind of an energy uh which feels really good because it's very internal and very personal um all right that's it for december all right so as a little bit of a bonus here i'm gonna pull a uh, oracle card for you from the mystical shaman oracle Let's see what you get, Cappy. You got the drum. The drum. Where you at? 15. Oh, come on. Okay. The essence, the rhythm of the drum tunes you to the beating heart of the universe. Its wood frame links, links you to the trees and helps you journey to the lower world via the roots and the upper world through its branches. The drum skin gives the shaman the powers of the animal kingdom. Striking the drum calls for the power of the thunder and the rumbling of the earthquake. The drum invites a trance state where healing and prophecy happen. The Invitation the drum invites you to take the next bold step in your journey. The forces of heaven and earth are aligned behind you, supporting effortless action. This is not a time to push against the river. The current will take you exactly where you want to go once you jump in. Collect your power tools and summon your courage because it is going to be a wild and glorious journey. Allow yourself to be carried by the rhythm of what is really essential in your life. The medicine. You travel to the beat of a different drum. It's time to acknowledge you do not fit a mold or role or relationship that is not in tune with you. Find your rhythm, respond to the heartbeat of the distant drum. The price you pay for lingering becomes higher with each passing day. Now it's time to move on. So that completes our 2024 Keep on forgetting what year it is uh reading for you guys um thanks for watching and see you next time bye